I'm Lee Spencer with the Racing Boys, and I'm here with Sprint USAC Sprint Car Points Leader C.J. Leary, and you're also third in the Midget Series. You're having a pretty damn good year. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's been a lot of fun working with Andy Reinbold and Frank Manafort, and uh, Andy's let us build, me and Davey Jones, build uh, two brand-new sprint cars to run the, the full USAC sprint car season. And uh, so far, we came out of the gate swinging. We won a race at uh, Bubba um, on the starter of the weekend. We won the, the final night down there and uh, had strong top five runs all year so far and uh, just keep stringing these together and see if we can uh, get through Pennsylvania, the, the Eastern Storm, and uh, Sprint Week. And, See where we're sitting when we head out west, and hopefully we have a good shot at winning the championship. And uh, the midget deal, it's kind of new to me. I'm still a rookie, so uh, just a lot of these racetracks are new to me, and racing midgets is kind of new. I have success running midgets, but just don't have a whole lot of experience. So, uh, like last night, I just struggled a little bit in the future with uh, with this beast. It's different than, uh, like, Bowman's car that I ran in Chili Bowl. It's just a four-bar car. So uh, a lot of stuff is different as a driver, and uh, just working with Bob, trying to mesh the team together so uh just seat time and uh just putting nights together is uh, what we're looking for and it's not just because bob's behind me but what's it like to work with a, a legend of his caliber well that's actually scott he's our uh, tire guy but um working uh working with bob is uh, really cool um he's a lot he's got a lot of uh, a lot of history and a lot of knowledge that i think i can uh, learn from so uh can be a bit frustrating at times because he doesn't always think I drive the car how he wants it to, but um, we'll just keep working together and we eventually we'll get it down. It, I have not seen you guys since Bubba, and so what has been the challenges since then? Where do you think that you have excelled? Um, since Bubba, we built a brand new race car with Andy in the 19AZ. Um, we changed some stuff on it, and uh, I think that our changes worked. We wasn't too happy with the car, even though we won in Florida. The, just We had to do a lot of oddball things to the race car to make it fast. And uh, we basically got a standard race car now with the, the spike chassis and the Foxco engine. So uh, just like I said, just qualify good every night, and that'll put us up front in the feature, and it makes my job a lot easier. As far as looking down the road, um, you, know, you said that you're new to midgets. What has been your biggest takeaway? I mean, we're talking 950 horsepower for the sprint cars, about what 425 450 for the the midgets what's your biggest what's been the biggest thing for you to acclimate going back and forth oh i just think that the the midgets they just race so much different you got to keep the car a lot straighter and uh the, the drivers just it's a little bit different it's almost more high speed than the sprint cars it's, the sprint cars seem to be a little bit more laid back and i think i know all the drivers a lot better so i kind of can anticipate what they're going to do on the starts and as we race in general but uh i think just Shortly over time here, I'll uh, learn about the midget drivers, and I'll just get the hang of it a lot better. Just, I feel I feel like a rookie, honestly, even though I'm a, a veteran in the sprint car. But uh, just more seat time and uh, working, like I said, with the team and getting the car how I want it. Um, like last night, we have Brady running the second car with us this weekend, so they're uh, they're they're running just as good as they were previously with Brady. So it's just a little frustrating because. Every driver is different, and um, Bob's wanting to do everything the same as he was with Brady, and it's just not working for me. Explain to the fans, when you talk about going to the car wash, what that entails. And you and I were, were both kind of on fumes today. Um, I was watching hockey. You were actually working still to the wee hours. But explain to them what's all involved when you guys take these cars away at the end of the night. Uh since uh, on the sprint car deal, uh, I, me and Davey, we manage this team, and uh, just us two a lot of nights, and uh, I'm a big DIY guy, so I'm, I'm real hands-on with everything I do. So uh, after the races, we tear the race car down at the track while, uh, while we still have some help, and um, we go to the car wash, maintenance, try to do everything at night while it's cool, and um, that way we can sleep in in the morning and get some rest, so uh, we're fresh for the racetrack. I asked you the other day about Alex Bowman, and I talked to him at Kansas, and, you know, he wasn't sure whether or not that, you know, you were coming back. You told me that you are. Um, talk about, you know, your relationship with Alex and how it's grown over Chili Bowl, and then you guys went to Turkey Night last year, too. I mean, what what is, you know, why is it that you two mesh so well? I think that we have a lot in common, you know, we both have, uh, we have Corvettes, we both have, we love our dogs, and we have a, a big passion for the sport, and, um, you know, we're around the same age group, he's a couple years older than me, and 
I just think we became really good friends over the past couple of years, and uh, I, I'm hoping to come back for Chili Bowl and drive for him again. And uh, he got me hooked up with Valvoline, and we, we got a, a pretty good connection there. So uh, just hoping to be able to, to drive his midgets and uh, anything else that he ends up uh, acquiring over over his course of his career. So uh, just uh, I like to keep that all the, the connections and all the bridges open and uh, just just have someone to root for on Sunday too when he's uh, running NASCAR. So I think that's that's pretty cool for me. I don't think he gets enough credit for being as intellectual as he is. I mean, he's got a great sense of humor. You know, everybody right now is looking for that favorite driver since he replaced the all-time favorite driver in Dale Jr. But if you were going to campaign for NASCAR fans out there to embrace Alex as their new guy, what would you tell them? Well, I just think that Alex is uh, hes a lot like me as a car guy, and hes he, he does a lot on himself. Like I said, he's he loves his midget racing, and he's in the garage late working, and he'll go racing on his off weekends if he can. And um, I think that's where um, he's just a down, a, a grassroots racer, and uh, I think he gets it. And uh, I hope that the fans can uh, kind of stand behind him like they do a, a Larson or a Bell and um, just really just support him because uh, – we need more guys like Alex. You mentioned Valvoline. Um, you know, for years, people pretty much could write a check and do grassroots racing. How has the need for sponsorship changed grassroots as far as midget, sprint, silver ground? How has that changed this side of the motorsports world? Uh, I really think that, um, you know, since Larson, go back to Larson and Bell making, I think that it's kind of brought the dirt track racing back. So I think that that some of your bigger sponsors are going to come back and uh, sponsor the dirt cars, whether it's World of Outlaws or USAC car. And uh, I think that that helps a guy like me because I'm trying to do this for a living. And uh, if just all the help we can get on these cars and going from track to track is uh, is crucial for me and to make to make a living and make it easier on my car owners, Andy and Frank and uh, Mickey Meyer. So uh, just any help that we can get is just it's uh, it's crucial. One final question. You talked about, you know, you have a fairly healthy lifestyle and I'm wondering if you also work out as well or in what your routine looks like and are you noticing that over here to beat the best, you really have to kind of build that into your daily or weekly routine? Yeah, you know, um, we just... I don't really do any workouts or anything. I just, as, I think if you can go as race as much as possible, that uh, keeps you in racing shape and keeps you sharp mentally and physically. So uh, I try and pack up and go racing, whether um, it's three or four nights a week. I try and race as much as I can, whether it's a midget, a sprint car, a wing sprint car, silver crown car. I mean, if we'd race these four wheelers if we, if we could. So, um, um, you know, it's really not about the money. It's a lot about just just coming out here and just having some bragging rights. So obviously we want to make a living, but um, we want to beat everybody in the pits no matter what. Really appreciate your time and, and good luck with the rest of the season and holding on that points lead. Yeah, all righty. Well, thank you very much and hope to see you around.